Hello everyone, I am Ms. Suzita, lecturer at Rajiv Gandhi Group of Institution. Today we are going to discuss about Thora synthesis. In that, we are going to discuss about the introduction to Thora synthesis, proposes of Thora synthesis, the site of Thora synthesis, positioning of the client during Thora synthesis, pre-procedure care, preparation of the articles, post-procedure care, and complication that may occur during Thora synthesis. Introduction to Thora Synthesis It is the punctured by the needle through the chest wall into the pleural space for the purpose of removing pleural fluid, blood, serous fluid, pus and air. So, Thora Synthesis, it is an invasive medical procedure to remove fluid or air from the pleural space by inserting the needle through the chest wall into the pleural space. It is performed for diagnostic or therapeutic purposes. Thoracosynthesis, it is specially performed for diagnostic or therapeutic purposes. The indication of thoracosynthesis are traumatic pneumothorax, hemoneumothorax, spontaneous pneumothorax, bronchopleural fistula, pleural effusion. These are some of the indication of thoracosynthesis. If it is done for diagnostic purpose, the amount of fluid that is removed is usually about 20 to 30 ml. So, if the thoracosynthesis is done for the diagnostic purpose, the amount of fluid to be removed from pleural space is 20 to 30 ml. The specimen thus collected is examined in the laboratory for its color, consistency, specific gravity, presence of abnormal cells and bacteria. The specimen that is collected from the pleural cavity is examined in the laboratory for its color, consistency, specific cavity, presence of abnormal cells and presence of bacteria in the fluid. When thoracosynthesis is done for therapeutic purposes, a large amount of fluid is withdrawn to relieve the pressure symptoms in the chest caused by the accumulation of fluid in the pleural cavity. Thoracosynthesis, it is performed for the therapeutic purposes. When thoracosynthesis is done for the therapeutic purposes, then at that time, large amount of fluid is withdrawn from the pleural cavity to relieve the pressure symptoms in the chest caused by the accumulation of the fluid in the pleural cavity. Purposes of thoracosynthesis To study the chemical, bacteriological and cellular composition of the pleural fluid. To remove excessive pleural fluid which could become infected and cause emphysema. To relieve lung compression, pain and respiratory distress caused by the accumulation of fluid or air in the pleural space. To instill medication into the thoracic cavity. In this picture you can see a patient undergoing thoracic synthesis. Patient is sitting in upright position leaning on the table. Pleural space is filled with excessive fluid and fluid pushes on the left lungs. To remove this fluid, thoracosynthesis is performed by puncturing the chest wall with needle into the pleural space and fluid collects in the bag or syringe. The site for thoracosynthesis. The common site for the pleural aspiration is the area just below the inferior angle of the scapula at the 7th intercostal space. The thoracosynthesis site should be in the middle scapula or posterior axillary line 6 to 10 cm lateral to spine. The site for thoracosynthesis is between the 7th and 8th intercostal space. The physician uses chest x-ray for the purpose of measuring the fluid level. The physician uses chest x-ray to confirm the left lung or right lung which lung is filled with the fluid and to measure the fluid level. This is the picture where you can see the site of thoracosynthesis. To conduct the thoracosynthesis, the lower level of scapula is used as the landmark and the distance of the fluid below this landmark is measured. The physician may use the percussion method to find out the side of puncture. The side of puncture is the region which is dullest to percussion. Positioning of the client Thoracosynthesis is effectively performed with the client sitting upright with the arm and shoulders raised. During the thoracosynthesis, the client should sit in upright position with the arm and shoulder raised. 
The client is allowed it to sit at the edge of the bed with the feet supported on a table. An over bed table is placed in front of the client. A soft pillow is placed over the over bed table and have the client lean over the pillow with the arms, shoulders and head resting on it. Pre-procedure care. Pre-procedure care is the care which is done before the surgical procedure. It is done under strict aseptic technique. So to conduct the thoracosynthesis, all the aseptic techniques should be used. After giving a local anesthesia at the puncture site, aspiration needle fitted at a three-way adapter is introduced through the intercostal space into the pleural cavity. So First, local anesthesia is given at puncture site. Then, aspiration needle fitted with a three-way adapter which is introduced through the intercostal space that is between the 7th and 8th intercostal space into the pleural cavity. The adapter should be in a closed position to prevent the air entering the pleural cavity. To prevent the entry of air in the pleural cavity, the adapter should be closed. As soon as the needle is in position, the syringe is attached. After inserting the needle through the chest wall into the pleural space, the syringe is attached to the needle. The suction procedure pulls the fluid from the chest cavity. Digital pleural manometers are used to measure pleural pressure during thoracosynthesis. Because of the suctioning, Negative pressure is created and because of that suctioning, the fluid comes out from the chest cavity. Preparation of the articles. Articles which is required for thoracosynthesis are a sterile tray containing spoons holding forceps, syringe 5 ml and 2 needle for giving local anesthesia, 20 ml syringe with 1 lure lock to aspirate the fluid, aspiration needle number 16 long and short, 3-way adapter with tubing, small bowl 2 to take the cleaning lotions, dissecting forcep 1, specimen bottles and slides, gown, masks and gloves for the doctor, sterile dressing towels, cotton swab, gauze piece and cotton pads, and on a sterile tray containing markenters. Kidney tray and paper bag, spread iodine, lignocaine tubercin, Suction apparatus with water seal drainage systems which is used when the pleural fluid cannot be drained by gravity. These all are the equipment which is required for the thoracosynthesis. Post-procedure care. Post-procedure care is the care which is provided after the surgical procedure. The wound should be sealed to prevent leakage of fluid. After the surgical procedure thoracosynthesis, there may be leakage of fluid. So to prevent the Leakage of fluid, the wound should be sealed. The client should be positioned comfortably on the bed with the affected side. After the thoracosynthesis, the patient should be positioned comfortably and the affected side should be up. The symptoms of shock should be observed as faintness, lowering blood pressure, weakness, rapid pulse and respiration. This all the symptoms of the shock should be observed after the thoracosynthesis. The breath sound should be listened on the both sides and the sound on the both sides should be compared to detect collapse of the lungs. To detect the collapse of the lungs, the breath sound should be listened on the both sides. The puncture side should be checked for leakage of fluids. The puncture side should be treated aseptically to prevent contamination of the wound which should not be wet. The puncture side should be dry to prevent from the contamination. The client should be asked for the deep breathing exercise which will help to expand the lungs. Deep breathing exercise should be performed by the client which will help to expand the lungs. The container with aspirated fluid should be labeled and sent to the laboratory accompanied with a requisition form which should be sent without delay. The aspirated fluid containing should be labeled and then sent to the laboratory for the diagnosis without any delay. Complication that may occur during thorax synthesis. Pneumothorax, which occurs entering of air in the pleural cavity. During thoracosynthesis, 
if air enters in pleural cavity then pneumothorax may occur another complication is hemothorax hemothorax occurs due to the injury to the blood vessel in the lungs during the procedure if any blood vessel is injured in the lungs then hemothorax may occur mediastinal shift occurs due to large amount of fluid withdrawal if large amount of fluid is withdrawn from the pleural cavity then mediastinal shift will occur another complication is pulmonary edema pulmonary edema occurs due to the reaccumulation of fluid in pleural cavity if there is reaccumulation of fluid in the pleural cavity then pulmonary edema may so here i concluded my session on thoracic synthesis i hope this session is informative thank you